you just close your eyes for me. And in this imaginary game, that right arm on the table is absolutely as sensitive and vibrant and alive as it ever was. And in the imaginary game, I'm going to touch you on one of the fingers. Obviously, it would be physiologically impossible for you to feel which one of those fingers I'm touching because there is literally nothing there at all. But instead of you thinking, well, I don't know, I want you to think, well, if I did know, which finger would I feel him touching? What I'm going to ask you to do, just so that everybody knows that you really aren't going to be able to see, and I, again, do ask you to keep your eyes closed, I'm just going to ask you to look off to, just to your left for me. Just turn your head to your left. That's great. And I'm just going to touch on one of the fingers now. So with your eyes closed, I promise you I won't move the finger. I'm going to keep it right where it is. Just take a moment. And just imagine a sensation. A sensation being carried from the touch receptors in the dermis of the skin there. That message being carried along, along your spinal column and into your brain where it's interpreted as a sensation of one of those fingers being touched. An imaginary sensation. I want you to tell me which finger I'm touching. Is it the ring finger? Open your eyes and have a look. I won't move a muscle. It's the ring finger. OK, we're going to try it again. OK. We're going to do it a little bit differently, though, this time. So if you do the same thing for me, close your eyes and just look off to the side. Now, I've got a box of objects here under the table. I'm going to place an object onto the palm of that hand. Please keep your eyes closed. And I'm going to place it in the centre of your hand, like that. Please don't peek. And I want you, as soon as you get any beginnings of a sensation there, weight or temperature or surface material, anything you like, just let me know what you get. First thing you sense, go on. Is it smooth? Something smooth, OK. What about a shape? OK, now I know when you shake your head, that's going to be you thinking, no, I can't do it. So think more in terms of, yes, I can do it. So it does become that imaginary game, almost like a role-playing game, playing the role of somebody who can feel something in that hand. So you've said it's smooth. Is it quite thin, quite long? OK. It feels kind of like a plasticky kind of... This is very interesting, what you're saying. Um, I kind of want you to have a look. I want you to see if you can get any closer to identifying it. Maybe something like a shoehorn or something. Mm. Have a look. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not a shoehorn, but uh, don't do it again. <laughs> let's do it again. Good. Okay, no, this is great. Um, let's let's do this one last time. Close your eyes for me. I'll change it for something else. Okay, it's there. Something ceramic. Ceramic? Mm. OK, so you're getting like a cooler, mm. harder, more solid surface. Shape. Just concentrate on the sensations from the hand. Feels something like a cup. Like a cup of some sort? Yeah. Really? OK. Um... Like a teacup. <laughs> uh, OK, you can have a look if you like. Um, <laughs> it's a small smelling teacup. <laughs>